What's up, Magic family? Good to see you guys again. It's Cormac Ryan. Uh, today, I want to just go over a little bit of uh, some ball screen uh, attacks and the ways you can kind of work with a ball screen. There's a million things you can do, uh, which is the beauty of the ball screen, but knowing how to read and uh, operate a ball screen is really important. Um, and these are just a couple of things, some of the basic, basic ideas about attacking a ball screen. So the first situation I have set up is a flat hedge. So here's our screener, and that's the defender, that's the big. Usually you're reading, the, the first guy you're reading is the big. Is how is the guy guarding the man setting the screen reacting to you? Is he, is he high hedging and really trying to bump you out? Is he flat hedging, or is he just not showing at all and he's staying home? So that's usually the first guy. Um, so what we've got here is we've got a flat hedge situation. And so two ways that I like to attack it very simple is we come off our screen, we set our man up, we kind of bring him to the outside, we get low and attack, and then we have our big guy kind of in the middle in, in no man's land. He's kind of on his heels, he's retreating like this. And you kind of get him here, and the first move you can do is plant and kind of drag it back. So if you saw the last video, it's, it's kind of that over the top push crossover. So it's not really a split, it's more like you're dragging him back middle, and out of that you can get creative. You can go right into a finish, you can go into a step back, you can kind of hold it for a little while and wait for your bait to roll, throw a lob, throw a bounce pass. Many things you can do, but here's the footwork, is you're setting up, you're coming off the screen, you kind of plant that inside foot as low as you can get it, try and get it outside the defender's foot, and then you're gonna set up, so off this you're dribbling, you're gonna set up like you're going this way, and then full turn and push through. So game speed, it looks like this, we're coming down, we're setting our man up, we're here, push, and we're through. So one more time, like I said, once you get into this position, you can do a lot of things out of it, but we're here, we're setting our man up, we're looking, and then we're pushing, you can go into a finish, you can go into a spin move, you can go into a step back, you can kind of hold it a little bit, drag it out, look for your big, kick out, many things you can do. That's one way. After you've got that, uh, you can kind of go with a, a little counter to that. So same thing, you're coming off, you're planting, and you're looking like you're going to go, and then you're just in and out. So it's really a hard in and out. Big guy's going to jump all the way in. You should usually have a layup or at least a kick out. So setting our man up, repeated, in and out, finish, kick, really good move, especially if you've got a big guy on his heels, He'll, he won't really have any idea what to do, so we're coming off, in and out, and then we're into our finish. So those are two ways to attack a flat hedge. If the big high hedges, hard show, which means he's guarding the screener, and he's gonna ride up the lane like this. So that's our defender right here. Many ways to attack this one as well. The first one, probably the most conservative, is to come off the screen, same way you're setting it up. All of a sudden, big guy jumps out. You keep your head up. We're gonna try and stay as low as possible, get our shoulder into his hip, and we're gonna ride it. And we're dragging him out. So our eyes are up, we're looking for our rollers, we're looking for our kick out and we're dragging him, dragging him, dragging him. And if he wants to switch and commit, then you can punch it back and go one-on-one -on -one with the slow big. Most likely, if they're not switching, he's eventually gonna roll back to the basket, at which point you're going, you're following right on his hip. So we're here, we're here, we're dragging, we're dragging, he's kinda here, he goes back, and then we go. And what you can do out of that, you can kinda stick with your right and turn the corner, you can kind of drag him out, drag him out, and as he goes, you can load, switch to your left. A lot of ways to attack that, but the timing on this one is key. It's hard to show with no real defender here, but we're, this is what it kind of looks like. You're just setting him up, you're dragging him, you're dragging him, and then you're gone. So that's one way to do the high, hard heads. The other way, so it's a fancy, it's an aggressive move, but it's very effective if it's there. It's important not to try and force it, but it's the split. And so what that means is, everyone's probably pretty familiar with this, come off, the big jumps really hard, usually a little bit early, and what we're doing is we're staying low, we're planting really low, like we're about to go into that drag like we just did, 
and then we're pushing through and splitting. Keeping our dribble really low, maybe even a couple taps. So what that looks like is we're here, okay, and then we're through. Into our layup, into a jump stop kick out. But this is a great way to, if, you, if a big is getting really aggressive, trying to ride you up the lane, you come off, you step up, and then you're through. And then you're into your finishes, all that. Lastly, this is a, a, a great way if people are trying to really be aggressive, ice, ball screen, switch, is to refuse it. And so what that means is everything's going on right here. The, you're, the guy guarding you is kind of, he's paying attention. He's trying to anticipate how he's going to play the screen. And that means you're just going to, you're going to look at the screen and refuse it. And then you're going. So a little bit of game speed. What I like to do is I like to kind of set up like I'm refusing it and then like pretend like I'm going back and it kind of puts him like, oh, he thought about it, now he's not doing it anymore, and then boom. So what that looks like is I'm here while everyone, my big's coming up, like I'm refusing it, I take another dribble out, and then I really get him leaning like I'm going to the screen, and then I'm through again. You can use any move, so you can set him up, and then go. Behind the backs, crossovers, whatever you feel. But a lot of times you kind of want to play with them, like get him in and you refuse them. Layups, jump stop, kick out, you name it. So those are three ways to, very simple, but there's a million options you can do to try and attack ball screens. So hope that was uh, helpful and go Magic.